Hello everyone. Uh, this is a steampunk journal that um, I started a couple of years ago. I did one uh, initially for myself and uh, someone wanted it so I did a swap with them for that. And uh, I've wanted to uh, make another. It took me quite a while to do this though and uh, I lost a bit of motivation. But um, at last I've finished it so I thought I'd show it to you before it goes in a box <laughs> and with the collection probably won't look at it again um, but there there you go um, the majority of the papers in here are from Victoria Designs and I particularly like this image um, so I've used it for the front cover um, I'd run out of some of the metal embellishments, so I sent this off to uh, Shaz of Crafted Seasons and asked her if she would uh, decorate the, the covers for me with the metallic pieces and she obliged and sent it back to me and I made the mistake of putting a very large spine and so it's got quite a few signatures in uh, this is a clip off, clip on tassel that I made and at the bottom I added um, a little watch fob, it does open and that's the back of it. I know nothing about steampunk so it was trial and error. Um, but as I say, I was just inspired by the the papers, really. So I'll do a quick flick through because it is quite chunky. Uh, I did a chain closure with some charms added and a hitch post at the front. So there she is. a little as I say I'll go through it pretty quickly for you uh, I did do the four see there are four signatures and I trimmed each with the uh, black and white stripe to match the skirt of the, the girl there so side pocket with a tag this isn't from Victoria Designs. I did have uh, some ephemera, different sorts of ephemera. I can't remember where they're from. Should make a note of it, shouldn't I? I'm terrible at that, but I've had them quite a while. Uh, just a pocket there. Another, another of the pictures from the Victoria Designs. There's a tag in the top. I'll leave out for now. It's difficult to uh, show this because it's so chunky. That's an envelope which I embroidered around the edges and popped a steampunk stamp on. I did a, a ruffle in paper. Here there's a tag. I uh, did some punching out on the edging on some of the papers, uh, some steampunk ephemera. I made a bookmark there, pocket to go in. Quite like that image, so I added um, an earring some metal to the one eye and some metal specks at the top uh, that was a hat off one of the papers which I made into a pocket there with another tag
and then in the centre of each signature I did uh, vellum pages left that blank so that you can see the the images better there's a tag in that pocket um, here I just did some uh, embossing um, scraps there just a plain tag here there's uh, an envelope just flipped over there that lovely image on again it with another tag and another tag well it's a little file folder really the tag on top and a little side pocket and here and there I do put some little metal charms I like this image with the dog A clock, a key, a seed packet. And here she is again, and that is a flip up this time in fabric. A pocket with a butterfly on, and a steampunk tag. hard to hold this one upright because it's so heavy. It's an envelope in that flip out. Some embroidery stitching. And she is again. And the next signature. A uh, belly band with some uh, metal bits on and a nice chunky tag. Here I've got a vellum envelope with a stamp inside and this has got a little butterfly which flips up and there's a little piece of steampunk ephemera inside uh, she's quite sweet quite like that image and I popped her on a on this envelope and put some papers in another one there some stamping Stamping on this fabric. More steampunk images. I want a typewriter with a little piece of paper in. <clears throat> uh, here we've got a tag. Here we've got a folded piece of paper. There's a tag inside the pocket. Here we are again in the centre of this and a tag inside the pocket. Got an envelope there, another steampunk one there. I like this image. I've uh, got a tag and an envelope. Here, yeah, that's just uh, some ephemera stuck down. Uh, this opens up. Fastens again, like so. Tag there with an aeroplane on. Did that on some packaging, some tea bags, some uh, 
black uh, chiffon ribbon, there's a little butterfly there, another save tag, a little tag, that's an envelope with some wheels and a small piece of journaling paper with a little bird on, a little um, cluster there. Here we've got another page with a tag coming out of the top. Here we've got a, a little pocket with different stamps with steampunk ephemera on. Here we've got a tag in this side pocket. It's a double pocket and there's an envelope there. Uh, that's, there's three pockets there with three lots of tags in. Another flip up there, fabric, uh, this, this one opens out, uh, here I did two pocket, well there were pockets, but I turned them into just fold up and fold down pieces of ephemera. Tag. I quite like him. I had the dog from the papers. I'll leave him there. Another bookmark. Take this tag and put it in some photo corners. That's a hat from the paper line as well. Another tag in the side. Have you nodded off yet? <laughs> I'm ready to. I'm really shattered. I've had a, another spaniel puppy. Oh, and he's absolutely wearing me out. He really is. Not a good idea. I should have had a, an older dog, I think. A placid, quiet dog. This one's crossed with a kangaroo, I think. Uh, that's a little black notebook which fits in that shoe a couple of tags there I'll try and be quick I'm nearly at the end I'm hopeless at showing journals I won't mess about with that type too long 
and this folds out. There's a tag in there, but this is a little booklet. And that's a little notebook. Another paper ruffle. And there she is, last one. Hooray! We're at the end, ladies. Thanks for your patience. Um, I did do um, keys hanging from each of the signatures. So, um, all I can say is I'm glad I finished that. It was a bit of a marathon. Um, thanks for looking in. Thanks for taking the time to have a look. And uh, I'm trying to get back into crafting. It's, it's, a, it's a bit uh, daunting, losing inspiration. But uh, I'm, at least I've done one thing. I've got that one done out of the way. And uh, I'll be back again soon, ladies. Thanks for looking in. Bye for now. Bye.